Hello, Tech Coach McNally here to give you a quick crash course in making mystery pixel art reveal activities for your students. Now, you've probably seen these uh, all over the place popping up online on your social media feeds, these fun Google Sheets activities that reveal pictures little by little as students enter in correct answers to questions. Uh, but how do you make these wondrous activities? I hear you asking. Well, Roll up your sleeves, make a copy of this pixel art demo uh, sheet that I put together and I've linked in the description. And we'll do it together right now. Uh, so first, to get started on a brand new sheet, uh, we're going to click on what the folks on the internet call the awesome box. This is this uh, little box up the top left right underneath FX and to the left of the A column header. As soon as you click on that awesome box, all of the cells in the entire document are going to be selected. I'm going to click on the right edge of the A column header and drag it to the left to make more of a square shape and let it go. And you'll see as soon as I do that, all of the cells in the entire sheet are similarly resized. Now I know that I'm going to need more space than this, so I'm going to right click and insert 26 more columns. And hopefully at that point, uh, this is going to be enough space for me. But of course, if you need some more, then you can select any number of columns, right click and insert that number, you know, to the left or to the right of where you are to make some more space. So that's an option there for you as you go. Uh, now, before we move on, we have to do two more quick things. We have to make a column or a column a little bit wider here to use for questions. So I'm going to resize that a column and type in and sell a one question. And I'm going to click on the edge of B and resize that a bit. And I'll type in answer. Also drag my instructions back over. So there you go. We have question and answer columns down below here. I'll be able to write in all the questions. Uh, in these B column cells, that's where the students would place their answers. And those will have the special rules that make the picture appear later. All right. Next step, down at the bottom, find the tab to go to the sheet labeled Create Art, and click on that. Here you can see I've started my own pixel art for this sheet. Now, of course, if you're going to be doing a highly engaging mystery pixel art reveal activity for your students, you're going to go with Among Us, right? So I went on Google Images. I found Among Us pixel art. I copied and pasted this picture right into my sheet. And there's, there's no fancy way of doing this, really. I just eyeballed uh, using the paint bucket. I go into a uh, cell, grab the paint bucket, and paint it with the color that, that I could match, right, along with the pixel art. And I did that little bit by little bit. Now, you don't have to use the paint bucket tool just like that every time, uh, because what you can do, and let's say for this blue, when we fill this in, you can go to a cell that you have colored and copy. I'm going to click Control-C on the keyboard to copy, and then Control-V to paste that color into cells. So that's going to speed me up a little bit. And check out this fancy trick. I can click and drag an area and control V the color in that entire area. So here is a quick way for you to go through and fill in the colors uh, for your art. Now, this isn't entirely done. Of course, we could still color in the visor with the grays, but you understand how to make the pixel art at this point. So let's go on to the, uh, the trickiest bit. That's going to be adding the questions and the special formatting that's going to have that pixel art reveal itself as uh, questions are answered, right? So click onto the third tab, add questions and formatting rules. You can see that I have gone ahead and added some example questions, questions that might cover different content areas, different grade levels, things like ELA, world language, math, social studies, uh, upper level sciences like chemistry, maybe for review of vocabulary and, and key concepts, right? art, music, you could pretty much use any content area at most any level, uh, dep depending on how you set it up with this, right? Also notice that some of these I've set up uh, drop down boxes instead of just having students type in. So quick demo here. If we started answering these questions correctly, then you will see how this will reveal along the way. And for drop downs, parts of speech run, I know that's a verb, right? And as we go through here with the drop down boxes, you can see how that works as well. It'll slowly reveal the image. Now, how do we do that? 
I've set up all the rules except for the one I've highlighted in, in yellow. This math, round to the nearest tenth, 8.17. Well, that should be rounded to 8.2. Students would put the answer in this cell. So that's B11. So I'm going to click on B11. It's highlighted. And to set up this fancy rule, you're going to come up to Format, Conditional Formatting. Now here, a, a basic rule pops up. We're going to change basically everything about this rule here. Uh, first, we have to change the range. Right now, it's saying just B11, but I also want, to, uh, want this rule to apply to all of these uh, blue colored uh, pixels that I have for my art. So I'm going to click on this little button, select data range. I'm going to click and drag this a little bit out of the way. And now holding control down on the keyboard, I'm going to click all of the other cells I want to add into this rule. Now, similar to how we did this with the paint bucket, I can click individual cells while holding control, or I can click and drag to get these areas while I'm holding control, and they'll just be added to the range. So you just have to go through, carefully select all of the cells that you want included in the reveal. And for this setup, the way I'm showing you in this document, they all should be the same color, right? So notice that all of these are the same blue, because that's important for how we set up the rules. Uh, with our range all set, I'm going to click OK. You'll see that updates here. And now format rules. Format cells if. We're going to click on this and scroll all the way to the bottom to get custom formula is. The way you're going to put in the formula, all formulas start with equals. So press equals. We have to use an absolute reference to the cell B11. So that means we're going to add dollar signs. So in B11, right, dollar sign B, dollar sign 11, that's pointing it to exactly that answer cell. If the value in B11 is equal to 8.2, then it's going to do the thing. Then it's going to color it blue in just a second here. Now, if that was a word answer like executive branch or cation, then you would put that in uh, quotation marks as the answer, right? B11 equals quotations cation. Uh, but for this, 8.2, the number, it's good just the way it is. Last step, we want this to fill with that blue color. So I'm going to click on that custom blue. So one more time, quick rule review. Applying to all these cells we've selected, if in B11 we put an 8.2, then all of those cells selected get filled with blue. Done. Okay, the rule's done. Nothing's changed. 8.2 isn't in that cell, but they're still blue because we painted it before. We haven't gotten rid of the paint yet. So while they're all still selected, click up on Paint Bucket and Reset. Notice those all go clear. This answer cell here goes clear. It used to be highlighted yellow. And now I can click away. I'll close that conditional format sidebar there. And let's test it out. 8.2. Get out of the cell. And there they are, right? Using that same setup, you can go through and fill in all of your other rules in any of these sheets, right? to reveal whatever colors you want. Uh, if you'd like to add in that fancy drop-down box, then all you're going to do in your answer cell, so let's go positively charged ion here. I can right-click that and choose data validation. And I'm going to say uh, criteria is a list of items. It says enter the items separated by a comma. So maybe it's anion, maybe it's cation, maybe it's uh, positron, I don't know, right? Put up some things, hit save. And notice here in this one, I now have a drop down with those options that students could choose from. So that's another cool trick that you could use for this. All right, there's two more sheets that I included here. The next one is listed completed and filled in. So this is all of the questions, all answered. And you can see uh, what it looks like if you go through and delete, right? And then put things back in, you can see how this works. Uh, you can also check all my rules and stuff just by coming up to that conditional formatting. So format, conditional formatting, and click on each of these. And you'll see over on the right-hand side here, you have the rules set up, okay? Um, also, I have the completed and blank here for you, which is the same thing. I just went through and deleted all those things. I included a cheat sheet just in case you want to quickly, right, speed run through it or, or play around. All the answers are there. Um, I think with that, you have all the basics now that you need to know in order to create your own 
mystery pixel art reveal activities that you can use with your students. You're also well armed to find them online and play with them, tweak them, change the questions, change the answers, make them yours, and then use them with your kids at school. So uh, hope that was helpful and have fun out there with your mystery uh, pixel art reveal activities. Thanks.